hi. Sorry. I was like, oh, it's very quiet. And then I was like, oh, it's because I didn't put any music on. <laughs> so that's that's why no one was here when you turned up. But hello. We are going to do the frothy part of the coffee, which I said I was going to do in the afternoon. Um, but here's what happened. Um, David called me at like 1245 and was like, I found a plaster. He says he's going to call you like right now. Um, and he'll come at like three or three fifteen, and he'll do it right now today. So answer the phone. And I said, okay, honey never called. <laughs> and I was like, oh gosh. Um, okay. But he did show up at three fifteen, and then he did it just right then. It's afternoon there. Yeah, it's 7 o'clock. Um, so he left at like 5.30. And the the ceiling's done. It's now my my turn to wait um, and see about... Hold on just a long time. There you go. And see about putting the... Um, you have to put like... You have to like seal the fresh plaster. And then... I can paint it and then it'll, I can put everything back. So yay, David can live. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the frothy coffee part. So in part one this morning, I talked about French knots and I talked about um, the ring knots. Yeah, so we did the French knots here and then we have the ring knots in the two different ways. So Karen actually told me that I was doing them wrong, the little twist at the end. Um, so let's see if it's still connected here. A little bit fell off. But I was doing the twist clockwise, and she does hers counterclockwise, which makes it not as different. So I'm just going to show you how she does that real quick, because I feel like I feel like it's going to be a game changer here because the, the one that I tried here worked really well. So you go up and you do, we'll just do two. And instead of going clockwise, let me zoom in. Okay, so we did our two. And instead of do going clockwise like that, she goes counterclockwise. So just a little twist like that and back down. Now, obviously, if you pull them like I just did, it kind of just makes a French knot. But if you leave them looser, then they'll be, yay, I can watch you live. Happy your poor ceiling is repaired. Thank you. Every time I have to have a think about how this goes. So yeah, they kind of go that way. I feel like I still like these ones only because I can control it a little bit better. And I think these ones I need more practice. So there's that. But what I'm going to do with this one is I've put two strands of this color. Let's move it over so you can actually see what I'm saying. Two strands of this color, which was the cream it's not as white as it looks like on the camera. It's more like a cream color. And then one strand of this color here. Um, so I've mixed them. Can you tell? So you've just got the two strands of cream and one strand of that. So my plan is to go around the outside and do some little kind of like French knots, bubbles, and then I can do the ring knots um, kind of in the middle and on the edges as well. Sorry, I can hear people out there. So let's just see how it looks because sometimes your idea doesn't translate as well as you feel like it should. Um, but some people have already done it. It looks amazing. So Again, we'll see. So I've got two strands of one and one strand of the other, and I put them together to make three strands. Um, so you can see on the grid that we did this morning, hopefully you guys did a grid. This is the kind of knots that we're going to do. So you can get this small with three strands, 
all the way up to this big with three strands. So that's kind of your area. If you want bigger ones, then obviously add more threads, add more wraps. If you want smaller ones, less strands, less wraps. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, RT Amy asked about the, the fabric and I talk about all about the fabric in the prep video. So go back and have a look at the prep video if you're interested in materials. This is so long. <laughs> oh my God. So let's just do some regular French knots and see how that looks like that. I need to go. The moving truck is here. We are moving today. Oh, happy moving day. That's so fun. I actually really like moving. I think it's fun. I'm probably like the only person who likes moving. So I'm doing a, a mix of the one wrap two wraps, three wraps. So you'll get some bigger, bigger bubbles and some smaller ones. And you don't have to do it along the entire way. You can leave some areas just plain like this. And that depends on how neat you put your edge here. So, oh, it's actually sad. She's leaving her dream house on a lake. That is sad. I will say that the part that always gets me about moving is the memories that you leave, you know? So, oh, I'm sorry for that. Yeah, sending you lots of love because I feel like that's a bit, that can be hard. I feel like this is gonna look good but it's hard to get like a top view of the coffee to look you know like a real coffee but is everyone else doing well David actually came home and we had dinner we had corn chowder which is like my favorite this time of year because it's starting to get a little bit cooler. I just love it. And the recipe I, I use is from Salt and Lavender. So if you, um, if you go to Salt and Lavender's website or even Pinterest and you look up Salt and Lavender, they have a lot of recipes there and they're so good they're always so delicious we had soup last night it was good I'm three days behind due to moving myself can't wait to catch up this looks so fun wow lots of people are moving okay let's do like a little ring knot in the middle here and see how it looks so I'm gonna do it like I showed you earlier Come on. And let's just see if we can get a nice little ring. In there or not. Just a really tiny one. <laughs> I'm also behind tore out all the stitches in the blanket so I can start over decided to finish the second mitten so I can have some success. Oh, was it giving you a bit of a hard time? Honestly, with this stitch, if they're not evenly spaced in the grid, I feel like that's what is like the number one thing that people have said that they don't like. So, Hopefully, hopefully it'll work for you. Oh, what have 
I just done? Oh, this way. I was like, how was I doing that this morning? <laughs> I promise you, I know what I'm doing, okay? I know. Come on, smaller. A little bit smaller. That's a little too big. <laughs> I think I went through my other knot, actually. But that's okay. It's just like, it's just like really, really frothy in that area. You can always tack it down as well. <coughs> it's always something with these little things. That's looking like a warm hug in a project. Yes. I'm just tacking it down a little bit so it's not so voluptuous. So apparently I'm not the best at ring knots. But it's learning, isn't it? You kind of learn as you go. Oh, I'll keep it loose. <laughs> well, these are supposed to be French knots, so they're not. <laughs> I've only attempted two ring knots on this one. And before you came, I actually did a couple on the practice hoop. So they did work, but the whole point of this was to add some ring knots in the middle. And then I was gonna do French knots around the outside edge. I feel like they can be anything since it's frothy. Yes, definitely. But hey, I'm just presenting you with the opportunities, okay? It's up to you if you would like to do it on your own hoop or not. <laughs> you do not have to do all of the things. That's the second time I've done that. I've had my coffee. I love coffee. Yes, I only had a little bit of my coffee this morning. And then um, my neighbor was like, do you want to go get a coffee? And I was like, I do. <laughs> Let's do that. So we ran to the store. And then we didn't go to Little. We ended up going to Sainsbury's. And then, yeah, we went to Starbucks and got coffee. And we came back. I would be black coffee because that's how I drink it. <laughs> yeah, then have have a nice black coffee then. You know, you can put uh, fill it in with the black coffee instead. I gotta leave for my dentist appointment, but I'm like still stitching. Karen, go. You're gonna be late. <laughs> how long have you been doing hand embroidery? Um, I started in. 2014? Yeah, like properly, meaning like trying to make a business out of it. Um, but I was an art teacher before, so I've always been doing like artsy kind of things, teaching people stuff, painting. doing prints, printmaking. As an aside, I love your nails. Thank you. They're actually navy with sparkles, but I haven't taken a shower today yet. Normally when I do my nails, you get these little, see how it's like blue around the edges? You get those little blue things. I feel like that might be it for me actually. I'm 
and maybe something down here a little bit more. I've done art for 27 years. Oh, good. That's fun. Yeah, I was an art teacher before, so I've always been doing something. Something with art. I hope this looks good and not like some kind of weird like infestation. <laughs> hope it looks right. Okay, let's zoom out and let's see what happens here. And then whilst we're here, we can also do, oh, I think that looks good, okay? I feel like that's nice. But again, it'll depend on what you think and what you like. It's your hoop. Um, and I always say, like, you have to look at it. So if you ever look at something and you're like, oh, I don't know about that, then just don't do it, you know? Give it a go and try it. And if you don't like it, then you can always take it out. Like there's, there's nothing wrong with being like, I just don't like it. That's okay. That's completely okay. And there's like no kind of shame about being like, I tried it and I didn't like it. <laughs> and that's it. That's the end. Of, that's the end of it. You know, I think some people, they try really hard to make certain things work. Um, take that as you will, you know, in life, in embroidery, whatever. But sometimes you're just like, it just doesn't work. Just leave it alone. <laughs> Stop trying to make it work. Okay. It's not a thing. It's just not going to, it's not going to happen. Um, and I think there's a difference between you just needing to practice and it genuinely not working. Okay. So I feel like that's a little bit too light for this. Cause remember I said I was going to put some French knots in the middle here. And then if you wanted to, you could put them in the very circle, middle circle here. And some people have already done it, but some people have left them empty because they want to put the French knots in the enclosed circle that's in the middle there. So let's just find a color. I don't like picking colors at night, you know, because they're all a bit, a bit different, especially since I don't have like the super bright daylight bulbs here. Let's see. Let's just separate this into three because I feel like I can get some more. Hello. Hello. I feel like I can get some more in here if I have a little bit smaller. Let's use the other one too. So again, these are just French knots, same as before, same as these. We're just going to put them in the middle of that. So yeah, you guys get an extra, two extra times this week. Lucky, lucky ducklings. You're probably like, leave us alone. <laughs> We're done. Let's see them in there. Okay. And these here you can fill in uh, with just like a couple really big French knots, like real big, big ones. Or you can do the way smaller ones. And that's why I think doing the grid is so important because it's so easy for you to look and say, actually, maybe I do want just like, you know, three really big ones right in the middle. Um, hold on, I'm getting caught on something. There we go. Or you can say, actually, I think I want the smaller, like one strand, three wraps or three strands, one wrap. You know what I mean? So it's easy to kind of mix and match. So if you have the time, do a full grid. One, it gives you a lot of practice. Um, and two, it's a really easy cheat sheet. So if you're ever like, huh, the other thing that you can do is do your wraps like I've just done shimmy it down to the bottom and see how big of a knot it is. And if you hate it, then just pull it out and you're back to where you started. So you can do three wraps, stick it in a little bit. And if you think that's a great size, then go ahead and push it through. And if not, you can take it out and do another one. So just don't commit to the knot all the way. So obviously I've got three strands here. So my, my only choice is 
our one wrap, two wraps, or three wraps, which I've just shown you. Um, so it depends on how many, how many knots you want to put in here. What's your vision? What's it going to look like? Lots of people saying that they do not mind lots of lives, so that's good. Haley, I was about to go to go do something else and saw you were on. I was so excited to catch you. Oh, you're so sweet, Haley. You can join from California. Oh, that's so fun. Okay. I always miss it too, so I'm excited. Are you feeling any better? I hope that you are. One of my friends woke up uh, two days ago with like a vertigo type symptoms, like for no reason. She's super stressed out and I feel so bad. I'm in the Chicago suburbs. Oh, that's exciting because Liz is really close to you, huh? Well, kind of close. Closer than like me and you. <laughs> what is this? There we go. And what I'm going to do um, this evening before I go to bed is put ever all of the... Um, all of the lives on YouTube and just let them upload all night. So I'm hoping that by the time I wake up in the morning, they'll all be finished. Your friend might have an inner ear infection. Oh, maybe I'll ask her. She um, saw the doctor and they said that it was vertigo based on stress, but I don't think she went into the doctors. I think it was just like a tele what's it called tele something tele tele doctor oh jesse's gonna knock on the door now she wants in this dog oh nem said that he found someone on the facebook group was from nearish him that's exciting there's a couple people that are quite close to me Telehealth. Yes, that's what it is. There we go. And I feel like that just really finishes out, finishes it out nicely. Do you know what I mean? You can also do something called the pistol stitch. I'm just going to teach you every stitch I know. Um, the pistol stitch is very, very similar to the French knot, except instead of going down right next to where you came up, you go down a little bit of ways. So let me zoom out. And I'm telling you this because you can stick them here. There she is. You can stick them here if you want to in my yellow flower. Kind of, come in, hurry up, hurry up. Kind of sticking out like this and then the knots at the top, okay? Do you ever vary the size of the knots to fill in the gaps? I do. So if I, if I ever need like just one tiny small one, then I'll just put, I'll just do as many wraps as you need. And that's why it's good to do the grid. <laughs> I know I keep banging on about it, but like it really is nice because you can see how many wraps you need and how many uh, strands you need and how big it is. Um, that's quite fun. Jesse just looked at me and was like, "Ugh, how boring. <laughs> She's going to go back upstairs, I can tell. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly show you where am I. Where? There we are. I've just made my ring not disappear. So you come up, you do your wraps, so maybe just two. And instead of coming down here, you come uh, down a, a ways away. Okay. And it looks like that. It looks like a knot on a stick. Amy says, is anyone from Scotland? I think that there are some people from Scotland. Um, I can't think. 
I'll have a think. So again, yeah, you do your wraps. So you can do two, you can do three. It's literally the same as a French knot. So however many that you want to do the wrap, however big you want this knot to be at the top, um, you just put it down like that and then you shimmy that down so it's down at the bottom. So the first one I did two wraps, this one's three wraps. You push that through and you literally get a knot on a stick. That's the pistol stitch. Pistol, like bium bium with my pistol, but with two eyes, P-I-S-T-I-L. Okay. So as we relate it to this, you could do some little sticky outy ones, little pis pistol stitches there with something else. Um, so let's take like a darker, yeah, like that color. And we'll do three strands of this as well. Buffalo, New York. Is it nice there? I had a friend um, move there for a little bit to Buffalo. Okay, so let's add some little, little guys there. Just like a couple. So you kind of want them to be like in the middle of these. So excited, I caught you live. I never get to see your live videos since I've been in the US. I'm so sorry. I want this to be longer. So it's gonna overlap. Let's do one in the middle here. Again, this is all optional. You, you do not have to put this in if you do not want to. If you're like, nope, don't like that, then don't do it. Okay, and it looks like I've snagged a thread there somewhere. Let's put one between these right here. But these are Bloomfield, Michigan. Hello. We have a lake house and it's um, in Brooklyn, Michigan. Well, kind of in Brooklyn, Michigan. It's like between Brooklyn and Onsted. But Bloomfield isn't very far from there. Tori, not sorry. <laughs> My best friend lives like 10 to 15 miles from you. Oh, that's exciting. That's not very far at all. And the amount of times that my phone has defaulted to story <laughs> is so funny. Okay, so there's that. You know what I mean? Just a little, little jazz. Do you know what I mean? Pistol. Like a pistol that you bam, bam, but with two eyes, not, not an O at the end. And it's related to the French knots. You'll often find them together. Like if you look at a, um, like a stitch dictionary or something like that, you'll often find these stitches quite close together along with the colonial knot. And there we go. Let's zoom out and see what we've got today. Obviously, I still have to do my mitten, like the pistol in a flower. That's right. I don't know why I keep saying the pistol like a gun. <laughs> American in it. So this is what we've got. Let's do a little bit more. So there we go. So we added some froth to our coffee, the frothy coffee. We did some French knots in the middle here, and we added some pistol stitches um, on this one. Again, this is optional. You can always do something else if you want in the middle. And if you are not keen on the frothy coffee, like maybe you do not like frothy coffee and instead you want just a plain black coffee, then just make it plain. That's completely fine. You do not have to add that if you don't want to. I know some people feel a little bit of pressure to do it, even if they feel like, I'm not digging that. I don't like it. <laughs> 
So if that's you, don't feel pressure to do it. Okay. But that's pretty much it for me. I think David's gone to his friend's house, like I said. Um, and yeah, so me and Jesse, I don't know what we're going to do. I found a root beer in, um, Sainsbury's. So I think I'm going to have a root beer float. (laughs) I'm really excited for it. (laughs) I was thinking of doing tea instead, not a fan of coffee. Yep. That's completely, completely fine with a cute little tea bag tag hanging off would be so cute. Yes. Nam, that would be super cute. Nam keeps changing his profile picture. It used to be leaves and now it's a toucan. (laughs) Hannah says, have a good sleep. Looking forward to seeing your latte art. Me too. Some Mel did a little um, marshmallow heart. Did you guys see it? It was so cute with the padded satin stitch on top. <gasps> I was like, I should have done that. Or put like little marshmallows in. <gasps> it was so cute. So I'm going to leave you. I'm going to love you and leave you. So I hope you have a lovely Friday evening or afternoon if you're in America. Like a lot of you seem to be. Um... And yeah, I'll speak with you on Monday, Monday morning, and we don't have very much left. So I'm going to say it again. If you are behind and you aren't, you haven't stitched everything, it's fine. Okay. Please don't stress out. This is a lot of stitching. This is a lot of stitching. This is a lot of stitching. So just take it easy, do what you can, and, and just, you'll catch up when you catch up. And if you don't, then you don't. Okay. No pressure. So enjoy. And I'll speak with you on Monday. All right. Bye.